black sheep from a wealthy family, a naive yet charming psychiatric patient, and an improbable love. Jay Wheeler is an outcast from a wealthy family. As a requirement of his probation, he finds himself employed as a janitor in a psychiatric hospital in Los Angeles, California. One evening, he accidentally finds another janitor. Frakel, falsely claiming to be a doctor with ill will toward a patient. Jay stops Frakel and advises the patient, Daisy Kensington, to return to her bed. Daisy, who has lived a secluded life and loves to spend her days barefoot, chooses to follow Jay as he leaves the hospital. Instead of returning Daisy, Jay decides to bring her as his date for his brother's wedding at his family's home in New Orleans, Louisiana. He plans to convince his relatives that he has changed his ways. While there, Daisy makes a positive impression on Jay's family. She confides in Jay about her recent hospitalization, revealing that she was there for the murder of her mother. Jay's father becomes suspicious about Daisy and presses her for more details, causing her to have a panic attack. Jay calls a cab and tells his family that he only came home to get money to repay a loan shark. Eventually, Jay and Daisy go back to his parents' house and steal an RV in the garage of Jay's father and escape. While being chased by others, Jay and Daisy find comfort in each other's company. They decide to stop for a rest, and in the middle of the night, Daisy wakes Jay up because a police officer has pulled up behind them. While Jay hides in a cupboard, Daisy tells the officer that her boyfriend, Beaver, ran away when he saw the flashing lights. The officer mentions that his father went by the name Beaver and proceeds to inspect the RV. As he goes into the roadside bushes in search of Beaver, Daisy takes the opportunity to throw away his car keys, allowing her and Jay to make a getaway. Later, when they come to a stop, Jay calls Dr. Bertelman, the doctor who is treating Daisy. She overhears Jay saying that he is taking her back to LA, only to return her to the psychiatric hospital. She flees to the ERV and tries to drive away on her own before Jay catches up with her, but she crashes. Jay opens the door and she climbs out, crying, as others come to check on them. Jay, intrigued by Daisy and skeptical of her schizophrenia diagnosis, asks if the voices told her to harm her mother. Daisy reveals that it was her mother who heard voices, not her. One night, Daisy refused to go to her mother when she was screaming. The next morning, she found her mother dead, leading her to believe she was to blame for her mother's death. A swarm of police cars arrives on the scene, which leads to Jay and Daisy's arrest. Jay's mother persuades her husband to secure Jay's release. And when Jay returns to his apartment, he finds his belongings in a mess as the lone shark arrives to collect the debt. Seeking refuge, Jay rushes to the psychiatric hospital to visit Daisy. But both security and Dr. Bertelman insist on his leaving. Jay rushes to the train station and lies down on the tracks, hoping to be perceived as suicidal and get admitted to the psychiatric hospital. Despite Dr. Bertelman's realization that Jay is not truly distressed and has staged the incident, Jay continues to claim suicidal intent, forcing the doctor to hold him in solitary confinement. During his stay in the hospital, another patient informs Jay about Daisy's condition and tells that they are being kept apart on purpose. Frakel secretly allows the lone shark's thugs into the hospital where he strangles Jay with a chain. While Jay is struggling to get him off, the patient who was giving him information takes out the goon. Following this, Jay wakes up in the hospital, where Dr. Bertelman apologizes to him for Frakel and tells him he was right about Daisy's mother, who was schizophrenic. Dr. Bertelman then decides to discharge both of them from the hospital. Jay receives a letter from his father with a $40,000 check to pay off his debts. Jay then runs into Daisy outside the hospital, where they reunite and leave together. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.